So here's our five uh, Waylands, two bulls, three bullocks, and you'll notice this little black thing here. She is a comrade of old Maverick that's below with the cattle. Now, as I said in the last video or a few videos ago, um, I'm going to give the calves, for training purposes, um, a bag of mail each, um, only because that if they ever break out from that little bit of a fence that's there, which can very easily happen, things can tend to go wrong. If you've no way of controlling them, then you're in trouble. So, uh, and it's a bit of a help as well, yeah. So basically the minimum amount of uh, meal I'm gonna give them, just uh, to keep them that bit tamer. Um, so that's the situation at the minute. You can see that there's been no swelling and any swelling that did occur, Breeze. Any swelling that did occur has all calmed down now, so they're in good enough form here now. I'm after running them through the land here at the house and I have to run them down the road in the next couple of days. So uh, I think they're thriving well now. So they're on, they're on uh, little slices of pizza kind of paddocks, all anchoring off that big tall tree over there, and I have a tap over there with a hose and a drinker on it, and. Uh, I can move it into each little area as I move them. So I left them in here now. This is a rushy bit of a place here. I'm going to uh, do a bit of topping on this uh, field later on in the spring. Um, but that bit of green that's on the ground now is growth that we've had since October, the end of October, the first week of November. The cows were here last. So you can see now, I only just gave them, uh, I literally given them two handfuls each and then one for the ditch. So I give them six uh, uh, scoops of my hand, whatever weight that is. So um, that's basically the story with the calves at the minute. I think they're doing well. So I'm going to go down to the cows now shortly. Our cow that's been minded is sitting up this morning, so I have to go down and get her lifted. I'm going to move the cows onto fresher picking and give them some hay this evening. And uh, that'll be them sorted. So we're now at the 1st of February. I broke the strap on my watch. I have it in my pocket here. Hang on now. What does it say on my watch? I have to adjust the date at times. No, we're the 1st, yeah. So the 1st of February is officially spring, but I don't believe it. We have a lot of cold, wintry weather to go through yet. The real weather, the real winter mightn't even have arrived yet in this country. You wouldn't know what you'd get from Mother Nature. So that's the calves now. They've just been fed and they're happy. And I'm going to go down to my cows, so I'll add this to a video at some stage. So I'll say bye-bye for now. Actually, just a little side note here on this video. I just noticed on the ground that is a cow dung that was left there um, the last time the cows were here, <coughs> which was what? November. And look how well it has been completely and utter decomposed and dragged down deep into the soil. And literally all we have left on top is earthworm castings. So, uh, over the winter time, that is an amazing thing. When side activity is meant to be finished. So it's literally completely gone. I'm very pleased with that. So yeah, back to the cattle. So this is the troublemaker. On the 1st of February, officially spring, but we have a lot of winter ahead of us yet, I believe and a lot of minding with this lady too. Now the story is with her, I had the vet story yesterday and we basically repeated everything that we've done already. Again, we gave our calcium into the vein this time. Into the vein this time, magnesium, fluids, antibiotics. In fact, I should give her an injection today, 30 mils. Um, what else did we give her? Anti-inflammatories, 
they say B12s, yeah, all them things. And she's definitely doing my head in, but she's definitely on the mend, I think, again today. You can see now that she's been doing a bit of kicking in the back legs. I still have to rise her every day, and she'll stay up for the day, um, but just in the mornings is the problem. So that's that cow. Now, across the ditch here, we have the rest of the cows, and I'm going to do a little bit of a move now. I'm going to fence the lower side of this field here, and I'm going to give them a fresh bit of picking today. And a little bit of hay tonight um, and that's the plan on the 1st of February so I'm gonna go and do that now so basically this is where they have been for the last two or three days and this is where they're going now obviously not amazing stuff it's a little bit of regrowth from last November so a little bit of sweet picking and we'll work our way on down during the week and then we're into across the way what we left on the first rotation which they'll get around Valentine's Day alongside their hay and silage so I'll get this move done here now so yeah we're just after fencing this here now so as we all know boss cow here is not a calf Bosco, as in Bosco. It's funny, I only have to give her a name now when she's about to go. Now, the plan was to get rid of her. Now, is this a strange thing to be concerned about? Let me just bear with me for a sec. She's the Bosco. Okay. The girl behind her with the horns, the whitehead, is the lead cow. And second in command is that Galloway there. Now, here's the problem the fourth cow to come normally is the lady with the horns. As I said, Bosco, Bosco is a uh, top dog. Now when I sell her, the next cow in command is going to be that Galloway. And she is not a nice cow. I have decided, and I'm thinking, I don't like them Galloways. Now, I'm going to offend a lot of people out there that has them and think they're great. But maybe it's just my individual cow but I believe that they're very aggressive cattle and um, they're all right if you have 1200 acres commonage up a mountain somewhere leave them off a hundred of them you know, you'd be sure that they'll be all surviving after the winter however in this system with more docile natured cattle they're bullies this lady is full-time pucking them into the stomach now I I'm not sure, but I I could nearly say that she took the calf out with Bosco. They might have fought one day, because she doesn't like being second in command. They might have fought, and she might have pucked the calf out of her. Um, now, look, that's just theoretical. I don't know for a fact. But as the days goes on, I'm liking them cattle less and less. And her calf at home is a hateful hooer as well. He comes under the fence. They have no respect for fences. They have respect for their owners, definitely. They're quiet that way, but they're very aggressive towards other cattle. I think. Maybe that's just mine, but I believe it's the breed. So anyhow, that's my issue now. When I sell Boss Cow, she is then going to be Boss Cow. So uh, they're earmarked for the road, I think, after they've calved. So I'm going to move these here now, um, they're hungry, so I'll be back in a sec. Yeah. She's second in command all right. Come on. Come on girls. Come on. I'm not that mad hungry. So that is a bit of picking now. I'm going to get them to the hay now as well and we'll see which they go for. I have a sweet bit of picking is nice now on the 1st of February. I'm really looking forward to getting across the back of that hedge there. But actually I'll just show you now. 
this literally across this wire here. Come on, get in. That's what we skipped. So I can't remember when that was grazed last. Uh, in the autumn sometime. So there's nice woolly stuff in there now. I'm going to fairly eat it down um, in the next couple of weeks. So we have this place to go to eat down to the end and then we're going to cut across and walk our way back up. I'm really looking forward to that. That'll give them a great little boost coming into March. I'll try and drag it out as long as I can. But that's lovely grass there now. And the sun has decided to come out. So uh, I'll go and get our hay. Okay, well there's our answer. I'm right, glad to get that bit of hay. So what I'm going to do, I suppose, is fill up on that hay and then go away and pick for the afternoon and evening. And that will do them for today. So I'm glad to get them moved from that other side there. Um, so what else was I saying? Yeah, that blue cow now, um, I'm going to probably sell her. I had the trailer on and I was coming down for dinner night and I had help from a good neighbour man of mine, a young boy, and uh, he likes that cow and he didn't want me to sell that cow and he was saying should I hold on to her and bull her again and see how we how would we get on. Look, I turned around and I took the trailer off and I left her there, I know. But I think I have uh, weighed it all up and I'm going to sell her. I have two nice heifers coming in. Uh, out of her and uh, I don't have enough room and I haven't got a big enough hair to be keeping uh, empty cows so yes if I had a hundred cows maybe I might keep her and try her again she's a good cow and she's always been lucky for me uh, except for this year so that's the situation with the blue cow she's gonna go and uh, eventually them Galloways are gonna go that brindle cow above <laughs> shite across the far side of that hedge She's up and ready, she's gonna go. So what I'm gonna do is, is keep less cows and keep my calves on for a couple of years. So let's just say you had 20 cows, you'd sell your 20 weanlands, I'd have five cows, five calves, five yearlings, five two-year-olds, five finished. Um, look, at, that's what's in my head. We'll see how we get on. So for now, on the 1st of February, I'll put this together and I'll say good luck and goodbye. I haven't lifted this lady just yet now. I've not given her a bit of hay and a few nuts. I'm going to get her water now shortly. Um, I'll have help in the afternoon and I'll lift her there, but I think for now she's kind of comfortable. So uh, I'll let her fill up on that first and then we'll get her contraption moved and get her off the ground so I'm just thinking to myself this is going to be a long haul it's going to be weeks and weeks uh, of this carry on and but look I feel like I'm getting on top of it I feel like I've started to concentrate on the rest of the animals now as well so I felt I was kind of half ne neglected I suppose not neglected but my mind was busy so I feel now I'm on top of it she has her ears back and she's eating that hay, so hopefully now she'll uh, learn to rise by herself. Um, yeah, so the cows are happy, the calves are happy, she looks happy, and then I'm happy. So yeah, I'll stick this in somewhere in the video, so we'll chat. <laughs>